Hi, this is Phil Hinton. Welcome back to our coverage from CES 2023. And we're going to go and spend some time with Panasonic and the new MZ2000 OLED TV. So 2023 and a new model for Panasonic, the MZ2000. Um, some cynics out there might say, well, what's, what's new? It looks the same as last year's model, but there's quite a bit in here that's new. So maybe you can tell us about that. Indeed, it looks like it looks the same as like uh, the pre predecessor model MZ2000, but it's just the design. The new MZ2000 uh, TV features the MLA panel, micro lens LA panel, and it means that the benefits uh, it brings to the end users. Uh, first of all, higher brightness. So at this point, uh, although it's still under development, we can confirm that the brightness is going to be at least 50% more than uh, in the last year's models. Uh, but uh, this is not the only benefit. What the MLA, so the micro lens array technology brings, uh, is also uh, improved uh, details repro reproduction and also improved uh, color accuracy. And color accuracy for Panasonic has been always the most important thing. Uh, it's like our DNA since uh, plasma TVs. And the advantages of adding extra brightness and, and this new technology, that transfers the color as well in terms of uh, color volume? Yes, there's, uh, there's a higher uh, color volume, uh, thanks to the, also the higher brightness and the ML MLA technology, which means that we have uh, like a wider palette uh, to work with in terms of colors, and this way we can uh, provide more accurate colors uh, to, the, to the end users. This is very, very important because uh, also our marketing communication message is like true to the filmmaker's vision, which was uh, already it, it has been going on for, uh, for the last couple of years, but MLA, the new panel technology, brought such a significant uh, improvement, especially in, in, in brightness, uh, that uh, this uh, TV is going to be used uh, again uh, by filmmakers, which should uh, mean a very good proof for the end users that they can have the same quality at home as in the cinemas. And of course you have your, your own way of, of adding in the heat sink, it's not the same as everybody else on the market. You actually have your own proprietary way of doing things. Yes, uh, we have a very unique uh, technology because it's a very well known uh, fact that uh, uh, most of the uh, TV producers are buying their panels. But Panasonic is a very unique uh, company in terms of TV production. So we, we have the panel and then uh, we, uh, we developed a multi-layer heat sink system and on top, uh, we are working with, uh, we have been working with uh, uh, Hollywood professionals, namely Mr. Uh, Stefan Sonnenfeld, uh, the owner, CEO, and uh, the chief colorist uh, of Company 3. He is involved in the whole development process, giving us feedback so we can make sure that whatever products we are going to ship to the market will provide the best picture quality to the end users. And it's not just panel uh, that, that's been approved this year, there, there are other things that you are focusing on for the end user, can you maybe tell us about those? Yes, um, another pillar of uh, our marketing communication, so the main uh, focus is gaming. We understand that gamers, um, many of them are moving from small sizes, from uh, small monitors to bigger screen sizes. And the reason is that in the past, uh, features like HDMI 2.1 uh, and the benefits like uh, uh, VRR, HFR uh, were only available in, in monitors. But now those features are also uh, available in TVs. But not only that, we also have the game control board, which provides uh, live information about the game uh, uh, picture uh, and the game uh, specifications, including in, uh, input lag, uh, even, even some sound features uh, to, the, uh, to the end users, to the gamers. And uh, since we have been using the, the true to the filmmaker's vision uh, concept to make sure that the picture is uh, accurate uh, for movies, we are doing the same now for gamers because we, we also understand that gamers also want very accurate, uh, high quality pictures through to the, uh, the developer's vision. And uh, there is a new game mode in there, a new picture mode. Um, and also you now show if the TV has been calibrated in that mode. Uh, yes, uh, two things I need to mention here. The true game mode, 
uh, which is like uh, similar as uh, true uh, to the, uh, like uh, true cinema mode for the uh, for movies. Uh, now it is implemented in a TV, and we are also working together with uh, uh, with Kalman. And Kalman uh, calibration can also provide the same 100% accurate calibration for gamers. And uh, any other new gaming features in there? And how many HDMI 2.1 inputs can we expect this year? Uh, currently, there are uh, two HDMI uh, 2.1 uh, inputs uh, in MZ, uh, MZ2000. Um, and uh, as I mentioned, the game control board and the HDMI 2.1 features uh, cover all the needs what uh, serious gamers need nowadays. And I guess the, the big question everyone will be asking is uh, when can we see the production side of this? When can we see a retail sample and when can people go and get them? The samples for you uh, are going to be uh, delivered earlier, obviously, than, than, the, than the sales, sales start. Uh, at this point, we can, we can only say that the products are going to hit the shelves uh, later this year. That's excellent. Thank you very much for your time. You are very welcome. Thank you.